Roboteers, stand by. First, from Bodmin Community College, Roadblock. Weighing in at 82 and a half kilograms and over 1.45 meters long. All the signs suggest that this is a robot to be reckoned with, carrying a deadly circular saw. Hello there. Here is my last circuit cube robot, Speed Bump, based on the 1998 legend Roadblock. Uh, when I was thinking of my last robot to build for the circuit cube competition, I was thinking of all the different options I had, and then I realised it would be quite nice to make one of them as an imitation of a, an existing robot. And I was thinking through all the champions, all the, you know, like the, the saw blaze, the end game, and I realised that I don't think I've ever seen anyone make a roadblock. Now someone might have, and please put it in the comments if someone has made a roadblock, please show me. But I thought, wouldn't it be great in the circuit cube competition that we don't know what the meta's going to be like yet? It'd be quite nice to just enter a wedge on wheels and see if it wins. Um, but I've spent a bit of time studying Roadblock. I went through all the 1998 Road War, uh, Robot Wars Series 1 fights that it did and just watching it. And I just, I, I just fell in love with the whole series again. It's been lovely. So I've got the back circular saw isn't connected to a motor um, because I don't think it would actually do anything. Um, I've got all the stickers to the side, the top, the 200 yard sign, and then inside it kind of flips up and you've got all the electronics in there, which is quite nice to access because if you've seen my robots before, trying to get hold of the battery button and the recharging port it is sometimes an issue. But yeah, really, really happy the way it looks. Uh, it does all the classic roadblock things like get under people with a really low wedge and then push them around. Seeing as the Circuit Cube Arena is going to have a pit, I thought maybe something with a wedge might work, might be the one that actually wins eventually. I have designed it in LEGO Studio as well, I, I didn't design it to start with, I normally end up just playing around and then I put it in Studio afterwards. But this will be available in the future and I've already worked on instructions. I think a lovely thing would be for all the Circuit Cube robots to have, have instructions so everyone could learn to build their own. And there it is, so there's my pneumatic flipper, there's critter, and there's roadblock. Uh, really, really happy with the way this turned out. And I really can't wait to start fighting these circuit cube robots. So I'll be at the Southern Scale Trail on the 7th of September. I'll be at the Great Western Brick Show on October the 5th and October the 6th. And then the Bristol Brick Show from Gertlug is on November the 16th and 17th. Uh, do check out my poster uh, on my community page and you'll be able to find more about those events. Please do keep sending in your pictures and videos of your own Circuit Cube robots. Really, really excited about how this competition is looking at the moment. I'll see you around. Cheers all.